Hello everyone, welcome to another dev vlog. In this week's video, I'm experimenting with pixel art. The purpose of this video is really just to see if I like it. I've never done proper pixel art. I did use MS Paint and Windows XP as my primary form of art tool for years as a kid, but I wasn't doing pixel art with it, I was just drawing. Plus that was about 10 to 15 years ago, so <laughs> So today I'm trying three different tools. And I'm going to see which one do I like the best. It's going to be pixel art only. There is no blurring, filters, layer modes, none of that. Just pixels. And I'm only using free options. Just so if anyone's interested in what I'm using, it's free. You don't have to worry about paying for it. Alrighty, with all that out of the way, let's get started. The first program I used is actually a free web tool slash website called PixelyArt. Com. I cannot pronounce that. I'm assuming I did it okay. I'll link it below and also they have an Instagram if you want to see stuff that they're doing. I figured i try this since it has an Instagram account and they do giveaways and have a community so at least I know that people use it. So why not? My first attempt at drawing something was a mushroom. I figured I've drawn these a billion times. I know how to draw one, so that part won't be so hard. I've seen a few videos on pixel art, so I try to use thin line art that has like color to it, a stippling type technique that makes shading not to look so blocky, and multiple colors to kind of show diffuse light. I'm not sure how good I did, but I think it looks okay. As for the program, my main issue with it is that ads pop up every two minutes. Like literally every two minutes. It's, it's a lot. And I have ad block on and they still popped up. I guess there there is a pay version or something to remove the ads, which I get it. We are using the program for free, but it's a little bit obnoxious. Other than that, I actually liked how little tools there were. It's easier to focus on the task and I feel like, ooh, shiny, what's this do? Overall, a nice experience with the tool itself, but the ads ruin it a lot. Next, I tried out the Pixel Art Editor in GDevelop, which is also a pixel art website or something called Pixel. I cannot pronounce it, but I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. This was a lot harder for me to use. Also, the canvas flashes a little when you interact with it. I don't know if that's because of OBS or not, but warning, some minor flashing colors in this area. I tried to make an eye this time. Admittedly, I got a little too ambitious with it and kind of screwed myself in that regard. I think it turned out the worst out of all the pieces I did, but I tried out a lot of the tools and things. Honestly, I think it has too many tools, at least for someone like me who never did it. The tools there are very heavy handed overall. I found this one to be my least favorite so far, and I'm thinking the results weren't the greatest either, but at least I tried. <laughs> Finally, I'm going for the OG, the one we all know and have a love-hate relationship with, MS Paint. This one was harder because this is the newer version of MS Paint, which has way more tools but I don't want those tools. I'm sticking to the tools that look like the OG MS Paint. So the default pencil, the spray can, line and shape tools, and the paint bucket. Everything else looks too smooth by comparison. For this one, I made a little scene. It kind of looks like a children's book cover once I get to the end. It's not very big. As I heard, working smaller is better when starting out. And the subject you might recognize if you've been here a few years. Back in the day, my channel's mascot was not Parasolia, it was this brown mouse. I figured why not bring back an OG in the process? We're already using OG MS Paint. I started by sketching in a similar color that I'm going to use for the flat colors. Then I used the paint bucket to fill in an area. Then I would try to use two shading colors, if possible, in areas to make it look more faded. And I used, I think it's called dithering, I could be wrong where you basically stipple colors and make them look less hard-lined. I would use the spray paint tool on larger areas and just hand dot and smaller ones. MS Paint was by far the best for me because I knew it already even if the skills haven't been used in 10 plus years. But the only thing that I hate, and I don't know if this is my tablet's fault or MS Paint, but I would get random splotches of color when I changed the custom colors, like if I click on a little like color grid thing and I would make a custom color, when I would click on that, 
they would randomly just get splotches and then other times I don't know where they came from. <laughs> I don't know why it was doing that, but it was annoying. Like super annoying. I had to redo areas probably at least 20 times. But other than that, it was quite fun. Now to the question. Would I do pixel art for a full game? The answer is a resounding maybe. See, here's the thing. I actually quite enjoyed the process of pixel art. This drawing here took me a few hours over two or three days. I liked it, but it is also slow. And I don't see myself putting that much energy in a big game for the art. It's a style I like, but I also like making games that are pretty at a decent pace. For instance, the old version of my pizza game that I'm recreating, I made that game in a week. The art I took maybe one to three days, I didn't do it all in one sitting. I added stuff as I went, but it didn't take me long at all. And that's with a mouse and GIMP in a non-drawing program. I didn't even have a mouse pad, I did it on my leg. <laughs> this here, while fun, takes so long. I do want to make a small pixel art game just to try it out, but nothing huge. No idea what game yet, but it'll be small for sure. Like a really tiny game. Just to say I made a game in pixel art. But yeah, that's my thoughts on pixel art. It is fun. It's also tedious. But I'm also the person who has done stipple art. I know I didn't do a lot of things right. I just kind of went with it. So yeah, with all that being said, here are the art pieces that I made. I know they're not the greatest, but I hope you like them anyway. And yeah, that's about it for this vlog. The next vlog will be me adding some more mechanics to my pizza constructing game. I've already filmed everything and written the script. I just have to edit it and put it together and that will be next week. So with all that being said, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I hope you all are enjoying these devlogs. This is the first time I've actually had fun making videos in a very long time. So for nothing else, I'm having a great time. But also shout out to YouTube. My, my uh, video from two weeks ago had 300 something views and now it's showing up it has 100 something views for me. So YouTube, where did my 200 views go? But yeah, I will see you all later and yeah. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.